Hi Tech and Talks. Today we are going to discuss a very important feature which is background service introduced back in .NET Core 3.0. Uh, so what is the concept behind it? It is every time you want to process some long running tasks uh, which may include you want to send a couple of emails, you want to press process number of files, or do or want to do some CPU computation, you can use background service for that purpose. So today we are going to integrate background service class in a console application, and you can now see that we have a separate folder for console based applications because this was not a concept this is a class a feature so we have included this class or this project in a console uh, folder <clears throat> so let's start with implementing uh, it's a very simple uh, and easy to configure background service uh, in the console application first of all we need to write a class so why not let's try to write a class underneath that program class uh, let me call it public uh, class um, let's say my processor processor and it needs to be extend from background service which is coming from microsoft.extensions.hosting <coughs> And, and definitely it needs to implement a, a, a method which is abstract method which comes in background service which is execute async right so next thing will be whatever logic we want to you know run uh, however we want to run we need to implement it here so for now let's say we just want to print on console <coughs> And we can say that the current uh, time is um, current. Let's say the current date is and through string interpolation, we can say date only dot uh, now. Mm, what is the best uh, method date only um, we can say date time dot now dot date right okay and uh, apart from that we want to make sure that unless that service is stopped it should keep running so that will that will make it long running and background service uh, you know this program will be long running program and the background service uh, will act as background service <clears throat> so we can say while not of stopping token dot is cancellation requested uh, we will see how we can request that cancellation uh, we can put that logic which will be our computation logic inside that loop All right and uh, every time the logic is executed uh, let's say just to make it long running we can say we want to await task dot delay for one second right <clears throat> and otherwise we just want to return from this method we can remove this line now right and let's go to the up let's go to up in the uh, you know main method here we need to first of all create a host var host uh, is equal to new host builder this way and uh, we then next need to uh, write the configuration 
for that host configure host dot con uh, host configuration and here we can say host config and we can then configure the services uh, how we can do that serve not this way I guess uh, host config and that would be dot here we can say configure services <coughs> context uh, that is the hosting context and the next parameter here we can uh, you know write services dot mm, let me just rearrange that code a bit just to make sure I'm not misspelled anything <coughs> yeah so here service dot add host service and the name of our service is my processor this way and uh, next what we can do is we need to use that uh, console as use console lifetime and we need to build that one as well right and at the end the last uh, thing would be host dot I think start or run we can use run <coughs> to run that uh, console application so that was it from you know background services implementation implementation perspective let's try to run this and see how it works <clears throat> yeah so you can now see that for after every second we are getting those values uh, popped up in the console and if we try to press control C it will terminate the program <clears throat> so this is how we can implement the background service in console application uh, interestingly we can make this program as run as a windows service in a uh, windows os so let's note that point for, down for now and in some of our coming videos we will try to make you know this uh, program to run as a windows service uh, so in case of any question you need to ask in the comments I will push that code into tech and talk C sharp repository to get the latest updates from there and enjoy coding bye for now